Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Uh, this video is a bit late. I wanted to post it yesterday on Saturday, but I got caught up doing something else and I completely lost track of time and forgot to edit and post it, but here it is. Um, this playpen, uh, you might remember it. I posted it a couple videos back and I decided that I wanted to put it up um, permanently because Lilia had been wanting to get out in the playpen every night at like 2 a.m. and I was just getting too tired and lazy to set it up each time and put everything away. So I wanted to set it up permanently, but it didn't look that nice. So I took everything about it out again. Yes, I have a ton of accessories, I know. Um, I cleaned the floors. This is under Bobby's enclosure. And I cleaned the floors and then I added these cork sheets that I still had from the Blake Big Playpen. I added them there. I could have cut out the posts uh, there to make it look more nice, but I decided not to do that because I'm lazy. And then I got these plexiglass sheets and I have these posts. They're from Rodipad, but they're the old version. I bought them used a couple months back. And you can just put the wood or plexiglass in there and put it on with screws to hold it in place. And I think these are pra very practical. Still had to add that last one. I do already have the plexiglass in the back and on the side. You just can't see it because it's so clean. Um, yeah, but I think this looks very nice and it makes the room more open because I didn't really want to have a playpen. Uh, anymore after the big playpen. This also won't be connected with any enclosure, but I think this is a good option. So it looks nice and doesn't take up too much room, but it's still a fun space for Lilia. And not all of the floor is covered with cork. Uh, the floor is a bit cold, so I wanted to have at least a bit of it covered, but it's also made of stone, so it's great if she runs on it um, to keep her nails down. So I did leave some of it uncovered. And now I have to set everything up. I have a ton of accessories that I want to put in it. And then I just have to add the last sheet of plexiglass in the front and the, secure that with screws as well. And this was my first version. I just put a couple of things in. I have two different wheels to give her a choice of what she wants to use. Uh, these are two different wheels from the ones she has in her enclosure, just so she has something different to use. And I have a ton of accessories I want to include. Um, yeah, might be a tough fit, but we'll see. This is the version I settled on. I moved everything around a bit so I could add some more stuff. Still have to fill those digging dishes. Um, I added a ton of hides, ton of enrichment, just so she has a lot to explore. I do still have the other playpen that is also a bit bigger that I can set up for her if I ever want her to have more room to run around and if I want to sit in the playpen with her. And this is the very last version. I added the digging materials and some sprays. Uh, no, the sprays aren't here yet, but I added some sprays after I filmed this and added a couple more things and I really hope that she likes it. And yeah, now on to add the last sheet of plexiglass. Here it is. The plexiglass is 50 centimeters tall, so um, I can leave Lilia unattended. It's completely under Bobby's enclosure, but there's still enough um, room for me to um, put my hand in the uh, playpen and to grab Lilia, put her in, change the water bowl and so on. This is the other side of the playpen, so you can see a different perspective. And this is Lilia exploring it for the first time. She has been in the playpen a couple times now. Uh, she seems to absolutely love it, which is great. Uh, only problem is getting her to come out of the playpen and uh, like coming to the spot where I can grab her because she does not agree with me on the time that she should be in there. Um, she still wants to go in the playpen at around 2 or 3 a.m. I'm still currently on holiday, so that is not really an issue at the moment. But I do get tired uh, at that time, so I really want to go to bed after she's been in there like for an hour or so. Uh, but it's been a bit difficult getting her to come to the spot where I can grab her, which is very fun at 3 a.m. Um, but I'm very glad that she likes it. 
and I will add a couple more clips of her exploring the playpen. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. The next video will probably be the Q&A. So if you have any questions you want me to answer, head on over to the post I posted a couple weeks ago here and add those there. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye!